In addition to saying there was no foul play involved, investigators also say the three victims found in the pool here were not electrocuted. Sadly, two of the victims were just teenagers, a 15-year-old girl and a 16-year-old boy. The third victim was a 21-year-old. But with no cause of death, some residents of the complex say they are now focused on these pictures of beer and alcohol cans at the scene. Was they drinking too much or was all of them drinking or just one person drinking? You know, we still have that concern because three people's lives was lost. At least one may have been drinking, according to two 911 calls released this afternoon. In one, a man notes there is a young person banging on doors. All I know is there's somebody running around outside yelling, please help. It looks like a young boy. A second caller actually put the boy on the phone with the 911 dispatcher. Okay, my friend, he wasn't reacting. He was Okay, listen, take a deep breath. Yeah. The caller then got back on the phone to explain why the boy was so hard to understand. He's drunk, so he doesn't know. He's drunk? Uh, okay. Apparently, the boy is the fourth person in the group police say they interviewed yesterday. Although investigators say none of the victims currently live at the apartment complex, Eyewitness News learned the 21-year-old Luis Romero used to live in this apartment next door to Sandra Henderson. He seemed to be a pretty nice young man, uh, like he was going to school quiet type person, real, you know, real gentle, hair manners, would speak to you and he was quiet but he'd mind his business. It probably was him. I'm sad about it. You know, I feel bad about it. Henderson and other residents say they will return to the pool when it reopens, but they still hope to find out exactly what happened here in the early morning darkness on Tuesday. In Durham, Ed Crump, ABC 11, Eyewitness.